Welcome, Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's almost like you can feel this person or this situation at your core. Magician, Gemini Virgo energy. You know, destiny. You feel like you belong with this person. But how do you manifest? There's something about pause, rest, and rejuvenate. And then we have passion ignited, the ace of wands. There's like a very intense connection you feel to this person. But like you're trying to meditate, take your time, get clear, understand. How to move forward with this? Should you move forward with this? Like, what is the situation? Let's see. All right, so your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom. This is general, though, so it can be flipped or reversed. Okay, what is the energy here for the collective? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. What is the energy here? Okay, it could be a Taurus, the Hierophant, Two of Cups, Knight of Coins, could be an Earth Sign, Seven of Cups. We have the Temperance, that's Sagittarius energy, Aries energy here, the Emperor, Ten of Cups, King of Coins. Well, this person's serious about you, but you're like worried about something. Obviously, got to get clarifiers here. It's like, can you heal a situation, analyzing it, waiting for something really in your head about a choice or about a decision? It has to do with expressing feelings, a decision. Should you open up about how you feel? Should you take this chance? So with the hair font, why is this here? Why is the hair font here? How do you see this situation? I mean, they're your, they're your person. You're in love with them. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You're in love with them. My cup runneth over. I cannot contain, you know, all the love that I feel. The hair font is a, it's, can be a teacher or a spiritual leader. It can be about tradition and Commitment, marriage, sometimes even the, the hair font's a spiritual card. It can talk about spiritual connection, spiritual marriages, feeling bound to this person like your souls belong together. You see them as the one. You want to be in a commitment with this person because you're in love with them. Okay. With the Two of Cups, this is how you feel. I mean, it's more than just, you know, passion or in intensity. I mean, there's genuine feelings and love for each other, care for each other, protecting each other, looking out for each other. You feel that you belong together. It's like you two just make sense. Time of the Two of Cups. You may see this person as your soulmate. But you feel like you need information about what this person, how they see you or what their intentions are with you. Do they want to work together with you? Do they have the same vision that you have? Are you building the same future? What is it that this person wants? Like you're trying to get clear in that. Rest and rejuvenate. Four of Swords. Meditation. Contemplation. You can feel things are kind of stagnant or standstill. Though there is so much intensity between you. Is it the same vision? I think you feel that it is, but you need to be certain. points here. You want to build a life with this person. You want slow and steady progress. You want to see growth. You want to see abundance. You want to see things moving forward. Like you're not in a rush. You're not in like some big hurry, but you just need to know that there's security in this relationship that you are both building the same future. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That this person's going to be reliable, trustworthy. They're going to keep their promises to you. What is your 
Yeah, because you want commitment. That could be a bit of an age difference. So you could be a little bit older or vice versa. It's not always easy. It's like you're feeling overwhelmed with doubts or fears. Maybe because in the past, whether it's with this person or someone from your past, you experienced a lot of promises that were not kept to you. You want commitment. You know what you want. You see yourself building a future with this person, building a life with them, settle down. But it's, you cannot help but wonder, you know, what this person's true intentions are. Why do you, okay, why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups? Because this person's moving really slowly. You know, that's kind of the thing. It could be a, a fellow Virgo or a Scorpio. Um, it's like because you've had a lot of time to think and reflect and analyze, and it's part of what you do. It's part of your method. You cannot help but wonder. You know, pay attention to the small details. You see the things that most people tend to miss. You know, and you, you really do want a future with this person, but it feels like they're not offering as much as, as you are. Like the things are maybe a bit unbalanced. Maybe you feel that this person's a bit confused. They're not sure what they want or when they want it. Maybe you know that this person does want a future with you, but when? You know, so again, you're not in a rush, but you do need to see some type of stability here. There can be some unexpected information for some of you. Maybe you feel like they're healing something. A marriage or a, ho a home, a family situation that they may be healing. That could be coming to you unexpectedly for some of you, not all of you. Um, temperance. Let's really get into this because, I mean, the most important thing here is the other person's. You already know what you think and what you feel, okay? Um, but you want to know about them. So let's look at their situation. I mean, ultimately, there's really positive energy here towards you. You know, so the two of you are very compatible. We see temperance. That is Sagittarius energy. Tell me why temperance is here. What are, they, what are their thoughts about you in this situation? What do they think about you and the situation? Uh, for some of you, this definitely could be third party. And I know that's not what all of you want to hear. And please take, as a take will resonate. Leave with us not. Cannot stress that enough. And if you've been here any amount of time, you know what I'm going to say. A third party is not always a physical person. It can. More often than not, it usually does manifest that way. But not for everyone. A third party is truly anything that someone allows to come between you. Whether it is an addiction, um, they're, they're an impulsive gambler, they're struggling with alcohol or drugs or some other form of addiction, whether they are a workaholic and they can never say no to that overbearing boss of theirs, whether their parents are always up in their business asking questions. They, you know, they call their mom every 15 minutes about every little thing. And, you know, instead of just talking to you about it, their best friend, Ted from high school, Bob from marketing, nosy Nancy next door, whoever, they're allowing something or someone to kind of interfere in your relationship instead of directly talking to you about something, your problems, working things out. They're giving their energy to this X, Y, or Z. Okay. I do feel for some of you that this person, they don't want to let you go and they do see a future with you, but it does feel like there's some kind of unresolved heartache or pain. And I think it centers around some other third party type situation okay and I think that they do want to heal that okay yeah okay for some of you okay now this could be just for a handful of you if there was a past love interest or toxic person in their life. I feel like for some of you, you are afraid that they're holding on. That's what's holding them back from you. I think for some of you, it can be that your person does want to heal a past relationship. Now, they may not see it in a romantic sense, like maybe for the sake of the kids or for the sake of, you know, just getting along. They, they don't want there to be hard feelings or pain there. They want it to be better but some of you could be feeling kind of insecure or worried that by them healing that relationship that that may open the door for things to rekindle romantically or for this person to remain a problem if they were constantly coming between you in the past um how do they see the situation with you what do they think about this 
they feel they cannot tell you this. That's what's driving a wedge here. They feel that they have some kind of commitment or obligation to this person or situation. Like it still affects them in some way. And again, I'm never going to justify anyone's negative actions, behaviors, etc. But we're here for a reason. You need to understand this person's mindset so that you can see it clearly, make choices, decisions, have closure, whatever it is that you need. Um, I think that this person feels that they cannot open up to you about this because you may, they may think that you will, will be worried about it. The thing about it is, I think by not opening up about it, it's going to make you worried about it. It's like if you want to have a good relationship with your ex, you know, because, you know, you have kids together or you still share a business together or something. It's like that'd be more understanding to you than kind of going behind your back about it. And that's what your fear is. That's what you're kind of, that's what you're analyzing. I think that your fear is that this person's seen someone else romantically. But I think the truth of it is that this person is trying to just... What I'm kind of getting is if there's like an ex or someone that they were somehow associated with, that person may actually secretly hope that this means that they're going to rekindle things romantically. But I don't think your person actually sees it that way. I think they just... I don't want to say that they're like naive, but they, they see it as like, oh, you know, now we can actually work better on our business or, you know, we can solve this money problem that we had had or, you know, we can, you know, have a better relationship for the sake of the kids. They may have somebody who maybe thinks that that means they'll eventually get back together, but they don't see it that way and you fear it that way. They feel very protective of you, okay? They don't want, to, their intention is not to hurt you. It could be like a fire energy. What do they feel? It's over with that past person and they're excited about dating you. They just feel like they have like some kind of unresolved tra trauma or conflict from the past. They want for all of you to get along. But you feel like this person's been pulling back from you. I think they've been trying to smooth things over with this person. Because the thing about it is... Well, they think about you, they think about you as somebody who's been so healing and supportive and kind. You know, they feel very protective of you and they want to make you feel safe. They, they want to, they want to like take care of you and they feel like you're home to them and they want to commit to you. But there's something about some kind of unresolved past situation or past thing that they've been like focused on, on fixing. And you're worried because you feel like this person doesn't know what they want or if they're going slow with you. Again, Ten of Cups, it's like you feel like home, you feel like family. This is about coming together, commitment. Tell me about this person's intentions. What do they intend to do here? To fight for this relationship with you. They don't want to lose you. They feel like you're pulling away. And the reason I feel like you're doing that is because you feel like they're pulling away. You feel like there's someone else involved. This has not been easy. They don't have feelings for this past person. I don't feel it's like... There's some kind of unresolved conflict. Okay, there's two women here. You're analyzing and trying to be clear. What are their intentions with you? What do they want to happen with you? They want to hold on to you. Capricorn energy, they want to hold on to you. They want to heal the relationship with you. They want to commit to you because they can't let you go. Well, that's major arcana. But there's some kind of unresolved issues. What actions can you expect from this person, from the King of Pentacles? But they're offering you something. They're offering you stability. They're offering you their heart. They're opening up to you. But you just feel like this person's giving mixed signals or being kind of confusing. And I honestly, like I said, I feel like it's you're worried about it. It's because this person is keeping something from you. But I don't think it's what you think it is. Like in their mind, they're just trying to kind of be nice to their ex. Or they're trying to like, you know... Um, be friends or something again I don't think that they're like talking you know flirting behind your back I think it's like you know I can come over and, and help you fix that sink that you've ha that's been leaking you know or how are the kids doing can I come to their game you know it feels like that and like you just like they're pulling away but they're trying to kind of but I'll be honest I do think that for those of you where there's like an ex or like a child's mother or child's father that person does think that this might mean that this is a foot in the door so that they can fix a relationship which obviously isn't good for the two of you um but I do feel like this person wants to commit to you and they want to make things better with you but they do need to be more open and trust that you can handle 
them telling you this, that you're going to be supportive, that you trust each other. Because the thing about it is not telling you about all of it is like what's going to drive a wedge between you. Tell me about the situation. Yeah. You and this person don't share the same vision. And it has to do with a marriage. This person may have been married to this person. And they don't share the same vision. It's not the same. Yeah. Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. Okay. So whatever their problems were with this past person. They may try to have more of a peaceful relationship or harmonious relationship. But they need to be careful because this person thinks that by them trying to heal it and be polite to them. That they actually want to rekindle the relationship. Which I don't feel is true. Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. They may have regrets for you know how they treated that person in the past. And for also feeling like they're not giving you the time and attention that you need. One person is giving too much in the relationship. And I do feel like they're beginning to see that. They're beginning to kind of see that they have not been balancing things out between you and them and their 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 past. Um, they will apologize and try to rekindle things with you. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. You can expect to hear the apology you want to hear. Second chance. This relationship does deserve a second chance. I mean, ultimately, it is up to you. They may have to tell this person that they're not available, that they don't want to rekindle things with them, but that person does think they're going to fix the marriage. I don't, I don't think that's the case though, but they're going to apologize to you and try to make things right. They're going to try to offer you stability and commitment and begin to open up to you, which I think is the most beneficial thing here in this situation. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send donations. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.